<clears throat> hey, this is King Cool. I bet you have a few minutes of your time. Hello from the land of TV. This is King Cool, and I believe the movie reviews go on for too long, which means that pff, that means that I developed many reviews. You get your review in uh, three minutes or less, or else I take a strike. And I took a strike last week because I didn't do an update, and that's also another way to do it. And I got three strikes after draw to the penalty box for the movie that I want to see. The next penalty bo box review is coming. I already watched it, and I hope you guys find it entertaining. Whoops! I kicked the camera. It's a hundred degrees today. I have the uh, right to uh, make a couple of mistakes. But today, we're reviewing Fall Guy, the John Stewart story, starring uh, Jason David Frank, I believe it is. The guy's got three first names as his names, and they all have five letters in them, so I never remember what order they're in. I think it's Jason, Jason David Frank. So, now that I'm out of time, let's see how long I can go on for. Using, hold on. My cup is full of coins using my special customized die right here. How long can I talk about Fall Guy for? Two minutes. That works for me. And here we go. All right, this is a movie that I'm pretty sure it was directed, it's about Jon Stewart, who is a stuntman. He's played by the guy who played the Green Ranger. If you don't know who Jason David Frank is, um, and it, uh, this is a movie, it looks sort of cheap. I don't know what it's shot on. It uses uh, some footage from things that are, you know, when they're trying to be, hey, we're in Yugoslavia. It sure looks like uh, the hills of Los Angeles. And um, lots of the, the conversations are really sort of weird and stilted. And, um, you know, it's about this guy's going through life and about him making movies and things and doing these stunts and these things where he falls off a building while it's on fire and he gets the attention of uh, some Hollywood people. And... The acting is sort of rough, it's sort of sillily directed, and yeah, there's a downbeat right at the uh, 60 minute mark in this 90 minute movie, and uh, all the scenes sort of, some of them end with a slow fade cut to black, because it didn't look like they shot the right, enough of coverage to give a slow ending, and a lot of it is about things going pretty well, uh, but uh, th this is a movie that someone else could rip to pieces. You could, I could picture any of the people from that guy with the glasses. Just tearing this one a new one. Like, are you serious about this movie? Are you really serious about this movie? But I have to be honest, I really liked this. I had a smile on my face the entire time I watched this. This is a very positive, optimistic movie, very much like a Wizard of Speed and Time, where it's just about a guy it's just a guy making a movie about his career and his life. And it's not that it's all it's not that it's all uh, a sunshine and lollipops. After the uh, the uh, six, after the 60 minute mark, something happens, and then when they so you know, something is revealed, it's actually like, whoa, and, and you might be able, I could pull up the players and talk about it, but the fact of the matter is, it's handled in a way that I didn't see coming. So, and I was like, wow, and I was, uh, it, I, it, I wasn't very affected by it, and these guys are all trying their best, I don't know how many of them are any good actors, but the fact of the matter is, I liked it, I doubt anyone else will buy or beware if you decide to rent this. Time. Okay, three seconds. I'm glad I didn't get another strike today. I am on one, as I said, because I, I didn't put up an update last week. <sighs> All right, I would actually like to talk about this one a lot more. Um, if at some point, like you'll see, it's sort of it could be tangentially related to my next entry in the uh, penalty box, which I may add an addendum to it, and you'll know it if you see that episode. But at any rate, this is King Cool, and please drive home safe.